Hey guys, so for the last video of my Halloween series, I decided to do three different last minute Halloween looks. All the products I used on my face, like my foundation and my brow products will be listed down below. So let's get started. I'm taking the Urban Decay Primer Potion and just priming my eyes. Then taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and applying this on the lid and blending it out with my fingers. I'm taking my Tarte Tartlet palette and using this medium brown shade. I'm applying this to my crease as my transition color. I'm making sure to wing out that eyeshadow. Next, I'm taking this matte black. I'm applying it to my lids and also winging it out. I'm taking this darker mid-tone brown and applying this straight to my crease. I'm blending out that black so it looks seamless and blended. I went ahead and did my brows off camera. Again, the products will be listed down below. I'm taking this cream shade and putting this on my brow bone and also dragging it down so it's blending out those crease colors. Next, I'm taking the Stila Waterproof Eyeliner in Stingray and applying this to my top and bottom waterlines. Now I'm taking the black shadow again and smoking this out on my bottom lash line. With that darker mid-tone brown, I'm smoking out the black that we applied on the bottom lash line. I'm just trying to make it look nice and smoky underneath. I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Palette. I'm taking Half Baked and I'm wetting that eyeshadow with my Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray. So this is going to be my eyeliner. I'm making the wing very dramatic. As y'all can see, when I wet that eyeshadow, it just made it look more intense and vibrant. That's why I love wetting my eyeshadows. So you can see it's very dramatic. I love it. And now I'm cleaning up the edges of my eyeshadow with some concealer. I went ahead and applied some false lashes. Now I'm bronzing up my face with the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny just giving my face some color. Taking some more of that bronzer with a smaller brush, I'm sculpting out those cheekbones. And for the nose part, it's kind of hard to explain what I'm doing, so I'm just going to let y'all watch. Now this part I can explain. <laughs> um, I'm just filling in my top lip with that black eyeliner. Then taking that matte black eyeshadow and setting everywhere we put that black eyeliner. Next, I'm using my NYC High Definition Eyeliner Pen and just drawing small little dots. Now, I'm just drawing lines for the whiskers. It's personal preference if you want the whiskers to be short or long, and that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this cat makeup look. Now for the missing eyeballs look. It's gross, but great. <laughs> I'm taking my Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light and covering my brows so they look less visible and setting that concealer with some of my face powder. Now taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, 
I'm applying this all around my eyes and blending it out with my fingers. Taking my Tarte Tartlet palette again and using that matte black eyeshadow, I'm pretty much applying this anywhere we put that jumbo eye pencil, just making it more intense and dark. Taking a clean fluffy brush, I'm just blending out that black eyeshadow making everything look nice and blended and you just gotta have a dance session you know <laughs> now taking my stila waterproof eyeliner in stingray and lining my waterline i'm taking a wedged sponge and tearing piece by piece off of that sponge just so when we go in with the blood it will look textured now I'm taking some thick blood and applying this on the outskirts of that black all around the eyes and also a little bit on the black as well. I'm applying some liquid fake blood and just letting it drip down all around. I'm also blending it out underneath my eye just to make it look more bloody. And I would be very careful, especially when handling liquid fake blood, make sure you have a black shirt on. Um, but you can just apply this fake blood anywhere. And that's it for the missing eyeballs look. And last but not least, I did this tribal makeup look. It's very pretty and feminine, so let's get started. All the products I used on my face and my brows will be listed down below. I'm taking my Morphe 35O palette and this red brick shadow. I'm applying this eyeshadow to my lids and also blending it out towards my hairline. Next, I'm using this medium orange eyeshadow and applying this in the inner part of my eye right underneath my brow just to give the look a little bit of warmth. Taking this warm brown eyeshadow, I'm applying this on my bottom lash line and really smoking it out. Then taking this darker brown and applying this straight to my bottom lash line just to give it some definition and darkness then blending it out with a fluffy brush. Now I'm taking this gorgeous gold shade and applying this to my inner corners. I took a little bit of that medium orange eyeshadow and applied it on the sides of my nose to kind of contour my nose. Now I'm taking my Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray and wetting my brush. I'm going back into that gold eyeshadow just to make it more intense. I'm using my Stila Waterproof Eyeliner in Lionfish and applying this on my bottom waterline and also on my top lash line. I'm smudging it out with my fingers. 
then taking my NYX white pencil and tracing out the dots I'm going to apply on my face. I'm using my Wolf Face Art and FX face paints and taking that white face paint, I'm just making the dots more intense. I went ahead and applied some false lashes and mascara. Now I'm bronzing my face with my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny. I'm applying my Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones and also above the arches of my brows. For my lips, I'm taking some of that white face paint and drawing a thick line down the center of my lips, then coating the rest of my lips with the Ofra Cosmetics Kathleen Lights Miami Fever. And that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe to see more videos from me, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys, love you!